Yo, this is a story all about how my life got flipped, turned upside down. And if you'd like to take a minute, just sit right there. I'll tell you how we became the prince of the town called Ballet. So this is a new series sort of thing that I'm starting uh, called there's more to that story. And it's basically an excuse for me to tell you funny and amusing stories that have happened in my life with titles that are vague and therefore funny and amusing in themselves. Yep. That's the theory. So given that I do a lot of cycling at the minute because I cycle to and from uni, which is fun in the rain recently, my first anecdote is about cycling uh, with the title, as you can see, uh, and then I catapulted into a barbed wire fence. Right, so where I live, up north, back home, uh, there's a country park really close to where I live and I used to cycle there sometimes. I'd say a lot, but that would give you the impression that I actually did exercise when I was a child. Or now. And to get from my house to this country park, you had to go over a bridge, over a main road, and it was quite like a humpback bridge, it was quite steep on each side. So going up was a pain because it was really steep and I could never get all the way up to the top without having to just get off and push my bike. But coming down was really really fun because you could go really fast and it was really awesome and yeah. But on the way to the park, when you came down the bank it, on the bridge, it at the bottom sort of curved around. Not really sharply but it, there was definitely a curve there and it was still sort of going downhill as you were turning so here we start to see what might go wrong but in fact uh, this this bridge was not like tarmacked over or anything like that it was covered in like sandy stony gravelly stuff so on the way down uh, on this fateful occasion I was going really pretty fast I started to turn, there was no turning. I tried to brake, there was no braking. And so instead of gracefully going around the corner, I just kept going straight into, at the bottom of the hill there was a field with lots of horses in, uh, which obviously was fenced off with barbed wire and round the fence. There were things like nettles and other spiky bushes growing wild. So because I couldn't turn or break, I just catapulted at full speed into this barbed wire fence. When there were like horses near the fence, you could see, you could see the horses were laughing at me. Horses can laugh. I've seen them laughing at me. So yeah, that's basically all there is to this story, but I'm hoping that as a series, all of these stories where on their own would be very boring, together will form a beautiful, beautiful story of how stupid I am. And another mini-series thing that I'm hoping to start is, it has another snappy title, uh, I can't cook but I can bake. So that was, I, I filmed one of those, making Rocky Road before the first term of this year started, so that was way back in September, but because I'm a bad person I never edited it or anything, so theory is I'm gonna get that edited if it's any good and put it up. If you see it, it was good. If you don't, it was bad. So that's, that's, that's all for now really. TTFN. In West Philadelphia, born and raised, on the playground was where I spent most of my days. Chilling out, maxing, relaxing, all cool and all shooting some b-ball outside of the school. When a couple of guys, they were up no good, started making trouble in my neighborhood. I got in one little fight and my mom got scared. She said, you move with your auntie and uncle to ballet. Whistled for a cab and when it came near, the license place was fresh and had a dice in the mirror. If anything, I thought that this cab was rare, but I thought not forget it, your horns to ballet. I pulled up to the house about seven or eight and I yelled to the cabbie, Yo home, smell you later. Look to my kingdom, I was finally there. Sitting on my throne as the Prince of Bel Air. Boo 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 boo. Boo boo boo.